A healthy and wealthy evening, everyone, and welcome here at, at the, the top. top. Johnny Schofield. Millie Gleason. Live the dream. Be privileged with Uno Premier at the top. Thank you to all our televiewers for tuning into our show. Every week, we take you on a journey through life's most interesting situations. We have discussed topics on how to keep fit and slim through Una Premier's product called NutriFab, how to keep young and beautiful with Lejeune makeup, and how to stay healthy with Sante Egg Berries. Several weeks ago, we also talked about ProCardio, also a product of Uno Premier that addresses the number one killer in the country, heart attacks and strokes. A heart attack is an emergency even when symptoms are mild. And the warning signs include pain or pressure in the chest, discomfort spreading to the back, jaw, throat, or arm, nausea, indigestion, or heartburn, weakness, anxiety, or shortness of breath, fast or irregular heartbeats as well. And today, medyo seryoso ang pag-uusapan natin. Kasi according to some medical studies, one person dies of stroke every nine minutes. You know what? That's actually very, very true. In fact, did you know that heart attacks alone is said that one out of four people will die or experience a heart attack? Grabe talaga, no? Uh, well, all I can say is, you know what? Di lang ang matanda ang pwede mag-stroke and heart attack. Even young people, pati na rin mga doctors, are experiencing these. Correct, Johnny. But before we take you on our journey to the Philippine Heart Center, later in the show, we will tell you about the exciting plans of UNO Premier. This time, sa international market na tayo pupunta, sa United Arab Emirates. Uno Premier is certainly going global. In fact, Premier is now in UAE, US, Singapore, Nigeria, UK, and the list just goes on and on. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a lot of countries, right? Meaning to say, na mas malawak na opportunity natin to get rich through the top-notch company, Uno Premier. Oh nga! And thanks to the efforts of Uno Premier President William Barbo, Vice President Herbie Chua, and Chief Operating Officer Oliver Chua, and of course, the very aggressive and enthusiastic team of Uno Premier, many Filipinos now will have the chance to empower their lives and be privileged. Ang sarap ng feeling, di ba, Mili? Healthy ka na, mayaman ka pa. And speaking of health, we would like to take you now to the Philippine Heart Center. The Philippine Heart Center in Quezon City was established through Presidential Decree No. 673 issued by President Ferdinand E. Marcos in 1975. Its original name was the Philippine Heart Center for Asia. It was inaugurated on February 14, 1975. The Philippine Heart Center Cardiac Rehabilitation Section is a pioneer in the field of cardiac rehabilitation and has been in the forefront of the cardiac rehabilitation practice in the Philippines. The Comprehensive Cardiac Rehabilitation Program is designed to help patients with health disease recover faster and return to full and productive lives. The program is composed of three phases, Phase 1 or Inpatient Phase, Phase 2 or Early Recover Phase, and Phase 3 or Maintenance Phase. Each phase is designed to address the different needs of the patient and maximize their gain in the various stages of their recovery. And here with us is Dr. Benjamin Quito, who tells us more about heart care. Um, cardiac rehabilitation is a holistic program aimed to improve the quality of life of patients. Um, marami po sa mga pasyente po natin sa program po na ito ay mga post-bypass, post-angioplasty patients, post-valve surgery patients. So, Karamihan po sa kanila, after the event, namawalan na po sila ng, ng confidence. Hindi na po nila alam yung exercise capacity po nila. So, itong program po na ito, supervised. So, ang objective po natin, maibalik yung mga 
dating activities of daily living na ginagawa nila before the event. Karamihan sa mga patients po na ito nag-undergo ng mga procedures such as bypass or, or valve surgery. We asked Dr. Quito if supplements are advisable for prevention of heart disease. Yung sa mga supplements, tingin, tingin ko po kung um, wala naman pong harmful effects, pwede po natin, pwede po natin subukan basta, basta nakita po natin yung evidence. Importante po yung evidence ng, ng, ng benefit. Primary recommendation namin pa rin diet and exercise at meron po tayong mga medications to lower cholesterols. Here at the top, we care about you and we care about your heart. Heart diseases and strokes are believed to be the silent killers and its effects are traumatic. Yes, and we are very grateful that we have doctors like Dr. Benjamin Quito, a cardiologist from the Philippine Heart Center, who devote themselves to cardiac rehabilitation. Ito yung mga procedures that is done sa Philippine Heart Center to rehabilitate or tulungan ang mga patients to recover from heart attack. But what can we do to help ourselves even before this deadly disease strikes? Are there natural food supplements in the market that can actually help? The answers to your questions, when... At the top returns. Welcome back to At the Top. Makakasawa po natin ang mga special guests natin na doctor, pharmacist, and nurse, and we will talk about ProCardio, a product from Uno Premier, in line with our topic today, heart attack and strokes. But before we start our discussion, mga televiewers, don't change the channel kasi at the end of the show, we will have a special question na pwede ninyong i-text sa amin and the winner will receive a special prize from Uno Premier. ProCardio is specifically designed to address cardiovascular and stroke-related health issues. But in addition, it's formulated to work as a preventive measure for stroke and overall cardiovascular health and blood circulation. Its powerful ingredients also work on lowering bad LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels while raising the good HDL cholesterol within the body while cleansing the blood. ProCardio contains two major ingredients, natokinase extract and the red yeast extract. Welcome Dr. Soledad. Here we have our family integrative medicine practitioner. We have Ms. Helen Arabia, our UNO head nurse, and Christian Soledad, a pharmaceutical scholar. So I guess my first question I would like to ask Mr. Soledad, or Dr. Soledad, should I say, what is a heart attack? Well, Johnny, a heart attack, ito yung occurrence ng pagkakaroon ng blockage no? sa mga ugat ng ating puso, lalong-lalo na sa tinatawag natin mga coronary artery arteries no sa na nakapaikot sa aking sa ating puso no at pag nagkaroon ng pagbabara doon definitely mawawalan ng uh, supply ng oxygen uh, sa buong area na kung saan tinamaan and that initiates the uh, problem na mamatay yung mga muscles in that area and that starts the heart attack uh, nurse helen so if i may ask you being a nurse what is your experience of dealing with heart attacks here in the philippines doon po sa practice ko sa hospital, actually marami po kaming cases ng mga heart attack. Actually, most of the time, uh, dumadating po sila sa hospital uh, evening o kaya midnight or even yung uh, madaling araw. Yan. So, most cases, uh, yung iba po, inaabutan ng, syempre, yung tinatawag natin na hindi na naisasalba yung buhay nila. And yung iba naman, we revive them. Yan. So, most cases po actually nakaka-survive naman. Wow. So, um, it's, a, it's pretty an alarming uh, problem. Heart yes, attack in the Philippines. Very alarming po talaga yung uh, heart attack, lalo na po sa panahon natin ngayon. No? Uh, marami, pong, uh, marami pong dahilan kung bakit po nagkakaroon ng ganong problem yung mga Pilipino. And sabi nga po ni Dr. Ferdinand Solidad, hindi lang naman problem ng mga Pilipino yung heart attack. It's all over the world. So, Nurse Helen, ano kaya naging dahilan nitong uh, heart attack and stroke dito, lalo na sa Pilipinas? Is it because of their diet? Dahil marami ba tayong kinakain na fried food and like especially pork? Uh, yung causes po ng heart attack dito po sa Philippines, actually meron po tayong tinatawag na controllable uh, risk factor at saka yung uncontrollable risk factor. So, when we say controllable, 
Uh, yun po yung, uh, kagaya nga po nung sinabi nyo, it's all about the diet. Uh-huh. No, kasi ang mga Pilipino nowadays, masyado na po tayong mahilig sa mga fried or fatty foods. And kaliwat kanan na po yung mga nakikita natin kasi ngayon ng mga food chain na who offer most of the food ay yung mga ma- mamantika. Right. Yan. And kukonsider din po natin yung, uh, uh, let's say, exercise. Yeah, so we have to do exercise regularly kasi isang malaking factor po ay yung pag-exercise every day. And of course, uh, yung ating pong sapat na tulog is isa rin po sa dahilan na po pwede pong mag-cause ng heart attack. Kasi kung lagi po tayong kulang sa tulog, meaning uh, pwede pong lumapot yung dugo natin which can cause yung uh, obstruction ng blood flow. And Christian, uh, from, my, from what I understand, you are the pharmaceutical scholar. And being a pharmaceutical scholar, what are the typical drugs that are being used, especially when dealing with heart attack? Basically, ang mga prescribed drugs para sa heart attacks or heart diseases is yung mga statins natin. Yung mga nagpapababa ng kolesterol sa ating katawan. Yun yung, usu- yun yung pinakamalaking market ng pharmacy sa, right. sa community base. Now, if we're looking at uh, the drug factor as compared to what we have with Procardio Doc, um, what would you say are the outweighed benefits comparing the two? Actually, maganda yung naitanong mo kanina kay Christian. No? Uh, when you talk about yung pampababa ng cholesterol, yung binanggit niya kanina na ginagamit natin yung mga statin na gamot, no? uh, yung Procardio natin has the same capability. No? Kasi nga, when you talk about statin drugs, no, ito yung mga gamot na ang trabaho ay putulin yung pagpatuloy uh, na development ng kolesterol sa ating katawan. Sa pamamagitan natin natawag nating uh, enzyme na HMG CoA reductase kung tawagin namin. No? So we inhibit that. Ngayon, ang kagandahan sa Procardio, we have the same capability. Except we're not dealing with a uh, yes. considered a so-called drug per no, se. Yes, yun ang maganda dyan, you know? Hindi tayo nakikipag... Uh, ta- hindi natin pinaki- uh, naki- nakikipaglaban sa kanila, no? But we have the same capability. Kaya nating pababain din ang kolesterol na parehas ng ating mga statin drugs. What is, uh, the, like, what are the major ingredients in the pro-cardio that helps uh, with the problems of heart attack? Okay. Uh, sa Procardio, ang unang-unang uh, produkto, I mean, unang-unang component nito, yung tinatawag natin natokinase. No? Yung natokinase is actually a fibrinolytic enzyme. So when you say a fibrinolytic enzyme, ito ay isang uri ng enzyme na tumutunaw nung mga baradong ugat. Nung mga nagbabara sa ugat. Okay? okay. So kung siya ay tumutunaw dun sa mga nagbabara sa ugat, mas ma- mag-open up ngayon. Makakadaloy ngayon ng mas maayos yung dugo. Yes. At in the same manner, pag nakakadaloy ng maayos, wala yung tinatawag nating atake o yung stroke o yung heart attack. Dahil sa bara. Dahil natanggal yung bara. Oo. Oh, wow. uh, so, yun ang maganda dun sa ating uh, NATO kinase. No? Uh, dealing with the other component, which is the red yeast, no? yung red yeast naman, ito yung natabi, sinasabi ko kanina, nakahalintulad nung statin drugs na nagpapababa ng kolesterol. Kasi, Kung may statin tayo sa pharmaceutical, we have a natural statin coming from red yeast. Wow, very powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they, those are the two main ingredients that help heart attack. That help control, control heart attack. Sorry, yes. control, sorry. And besides heart attack, also from what I understand, since it's declogging, I guess, kind of say, getting rid of all that bad junk within the arteries and veins, That's right. it also helps with stroke. Yes, it prevents stroke. It prevents deep vein thrombosis. Ano yung sasabi kong deep vein thrombosis? Ito yung mga uh, pagbabara ng mga ugat sa paa. Mm. No? So, mawawala yung pagbabara na yon kung patuloy tayong gagamit itong uh, exemplary product na ito, known as Procardio. Wow. It's a very, very, very powerful point. Very, yeah, that's It's right. a good product if that's the case. Yeah, it's a very, very good product. You know, they say that Procardio can cleanse the blood, but why, what is it needed? Why is it needed to cleanse the blood? What, what's the purpose? Well, katulad ng nabanggit ni Ms. Harlan kanina, no? uh, maraming risk factors sa pagkakaroon na tinatawag natin baradong ugat. At number one then definitely yung ating diet. No? Ang diet natin ngayon is talaga namang makakonsider natin mga junk foods. Even yung mga fast food na yan, no? 
lahat, de, lahat naman yan ay considered junk foods. And definitely, nagko-contribute sila sa tinatawag nating uh, pagkakaroon ng bara sa mga daluyan o ugat. At kung merong pagkabara sa mga daluyan o ugat, sila ang nagsisimula ng tinatawag nating atake. And to prevent those, kinakailangan natin ng isang produkto na magtutunaw nitong mga nagkakos ng pagbabara na ito at doon pumapasok yung main ingredients ng ating pro-cardio known as uh, red yeast and of course, kung meron ng pagbabara kinakailangan tunawin yung mga uh, dugo na nagkos ng pagbabara yung thrombose formation na tinatawag doon papasok yung ating natokinase which is a fibrinolytic agent which I think is really, really exciting, especially here in the Philippines. Kasi mga Pilipino, syempre, gusto nila kumain ng baboy, di ba? That's right. Kinikinig sila right. doon, di ba? Oh. Yun yung uh, tama doon, Johnny. You know? And uh, on a regular intake, especially uh, ang uh, mga tao no, na nagkakaedad na, mga 40 years old and above, I suggest you should be taking this product on a regular basis. For prevention? For right? prevention purposes. Oh. So thank you very much for sharing with us your most valuable information. And if you want to know more about this uh, product, tawag lang po kayo sa numbers sa screen natin. When we come back, UNO Premier member at the top earner, Butch Tan, will take us on a tour to the United Arab Emirates when at the top returns. Aside from being the number one marketing company in the Philippines, Uno Premier is now global. Tonight, we will take you on a tour with one of our top Uno Premier members, Mr. Butch Tan. Thank you, Butch, for being here today. Thank you, sir, Johnny. It's a pleasure. Yeah, well, you know, I, I understand that you just uh, got back from a, an amazing trip out in UAE. Yes. Right? Oh. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Ah, How did that yeah, go? we arrived in uh, United Arab Emirates March 16. Tapos diretso na kami kaagad sa Dubai office natin doon. And um, sobrang uh, sarap nung pag-welcome sa amin, you know. We did an orientation there. At uh, we had about 300 audience kaagad. First day, ah. Yes, Same yes. day. So from the airport to the office, full pack, you know. Um, after that, uh, nag-training yung board of directors. Tapos the next day, yun yung uh, preparation ng start namin ng preparation. Because uh, UAE is celebrating yung kanilang... Uh, uh, first anniversary of so, Uno Premier. Yes, Uno oh, Premier. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, if fast forward dati ng kote, Johnny, mm. no? So, preparation, lahat nung from the seven Emirates ng UAE na may Uno uh, Distributors yeah. yes, members, yes, yes, yes. Uh, nagpunta sa, sa, uh, sa venue natin, uh, sa isang napakagandang hotel doon, which is uh, the Jumeirah Creekside Hotel. And uh, ang audience na ina-expect ko as, as a host, siguro mga 500 lang eh. Eh, nagulat ako, uh, 1,000 plus yung dumating. Wow. And talagang uh, sobra, ibang energy. Uh, uh, they're all very excited because of the opportunity. And in a span of one year, can you imagine this, Johnny, no? One year, yung na-accomplish ng uno dito sa Pilipinas. Yung is, local. Ng local, company, yeah, in yes. seven years. Yes. Na-accomplish nila in one year. Oh, that's so ta ano, I'm talking about Johnny. Itong mga, may mga distributors tayo na gasoline boy. Yes. Now driving a Hummer. Meron tayo dong uh, merchandise merchandiser lang. Tapos naka BMW na. Meron tayong manager sa isang mall doon, yung isang malaking Dubai Mall natin doon. So Dubai Mall, uh, ngayon uh, he's the first Filipino to earn uh, to own a Lamborghini Gallardo. And I and I and from what I understand, a lot of these these members over there are achieving all of this in less than a year's time. Yes. So talagang ano eh, um, game changer yung uh, Uno Premier sa 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 industriya. And uh, after that, you know, the, so, marami nangyari, marami awardees. The next day, all of the leaders, the top earners, were treated to a yacht cruise uh, ng board of directors. Oh, yeah, I actually saw, I saw coverage of that, or actually pictures of that, and I was like, wow, what an amazing, amazing yacht. Sobra. That, that sobra. must have cost a fortune. I mean, so, ako, <laughs> ako yung nag-book eh, so sobrang... Uh, <laughs> Kung pwede ko sabihin na uh, yung yung yate alo na sa kalahating million na kagad yung uh, yung uh, really? pagkarenta natin yung charter natin. So yun. I mean, Uno Premier is going all out and treating oh, giving eh. the recognition to the the, the members. Then. Sobra talaga, you know, dun pa lang sa event mismo, dun sa hotel pa lang natin, mm -hmm. Sir Johnny. Ano na yun eh? It's a seven star hotel, you know. Yeah. 
Tapos, uh, and that's not cheap. Yes, sarap pa ng pagkain. Grabe, grabe. Oh, todo talaga. Oh. And the next day, you know, yung pinakamali, malaking yate dun sa Dubai Marina, you know, dun, dun tayo pinasakay ng uh, mga may-ari ng uno. Kasama yung mga leaders, mga top earners dun. Inikot natin yung uh, karagatan ng uh, Dubai. Tapos sa uh, buffet, you know, sarap, sarap. Talagang ano eh, yung, ano mo, yung, uh, yung uh, reaction ng ating mga kababayan doon na part ng Uno Premier, talagang uh, hindi, hindi, hindi sila magkamayaw eh. Uh, hindi, hindi nila ma-imagine that in their lifetime, ma-experience nila yung ganun. And mind you, uh, itong mga magagandang lugar na meron sa, sa UAE, uh, specifically yeah. Dubai, itong Burj Al Arab, Burj Khalifa, you have Wild Wadi there. Nung before kami pumunta itong itong taon na to, last year, nag-travel incentive ang Uno rin dyan eh. Mero, may, yung uh, local company. Yes, yes. oo. So, ang, ang, ang my point is, yung mga tagaroon na, na nag-stay na doon ng 5, 10, 15, 25 years, hindi pala na na-experience itong, uh, itong magagandang... Uh, type of lifestyle. Yes, itong mga tourist spots yes, doon. Yes. So, imagine mo na talaga sobra, iba yung, iba yung ano nila, iba yung pakiramdam talaga nila. Sobra you, know, you know what's so amazing, Butch, is that, you know, you... Normally, companies like this that you see are international companies, right? You know, or, the, or from U.S. or Singapore coming to the Philippines and bringing the market here and creating all these wealthy entrepreneurs. But now, you know, as you said, it's a game changer, right? Now we're seeing a Filipino company taking this out internationally and not only on a small scale, but on an extravagant, uh, amazing scale of wealth and, and, and lifestyle exactly. And, exactly. And, and creating real millionaires. Yes. I mean, that, that's just unbelievable. Actually, there's no amount of superfluous adjectives that would de best describe the uh, ginagawa ni Uno ngayon. Eh. Yeah. Um, uh, I will share to you this experience. Dun, nung nagpunta naman kami uh, ng Abu Dhabi after yeah. na uh, Dubai uh, 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 yacht cruise natin na incentive ng uno pagpunta ka ng buong uh, yung board of directors together with us itong mga taga Pilipinas and the top earners ng uh, UAE ng Abu Dhabi yeah. to do orientations trainings yan now and, wait, excuse me before not to mm. mean to cut you off but when you say uno we are talking about uno premier yes correct? exactly okay. yeah and um dumating yung isa sa distributors natin doon na naka Lamborghini Gallardo yeah. na, you know? share ko sa experience na yun, kasi may lumakad na isang puti isang Briton dumaan doon sa Lamborghini na yon at nakita niya Filipino yung driver ang 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 reaction ka agad niya wow he's a very rich Filipino <laughs> and uh, sabi ko nako kung alam mo lang na uno premier ang may dahilan niya no? yes. first ever at saka hindi ko na nakalimutan ko banggitin sa iyo meron ting nakabili pa uh, ng uh, Ferrari in 3 or 4 months time grabe and isa rin sa ginawa natin dito Sir Johnny nag-open na naman tayo ng isang branch natin sa Al Ain so we have in Dubai we have in Sarja we have in uh, Abu Dhabi, tapos Al Ain. So first time sa industriya na nakagawa na ganyan sa United Arab Emirates, four branches, only premier lang nakagawa niya. And you know what's amazing about that is that sometimes you know, well, not sometimes, but if you look at all the, these big, huge international companies, right, that are that are very well, you know, they're very well off, they go to these countries, they only put up maybe one office here, another office there, and exactly. then they completely stop. But you know, it's interesting because Uno Premier, they say, well, why do that? Why not support our leadership? So, you know, so that's the kind of idea of what I'm, what I'm thinking, right? Yeah. So let me ask you, why is it that, you know, that we decided or why did Uno Premier decide to go to these countries? Ah, napaka-perfect ng timing eh. Kasi marami na tayong mga kababayan na uh, OFW specifically yeah. na naghahanap na talaga ng magandang opportunity eh. Um, uh, Na-experience na nila yung, yung hirap, yung pagod, you know, yung, uh, yung homesick. No, you know, from being iwan, away from their families, yeah, right? So, iniwan nila yung mga mahal nila sa buhay dito. So, Uno Premier is now creating more entrepreneurs. Uh, is giving away this, is giving this opportunity to them na na ma makuha kaagad yung mga pangarap nila, makaipon, lalo na para makauwi na sa Pilipinas, makapiling na yung mga mahal nila sa buhay. At uh, talagang napaka, napakarami open-minded na mga kababayan natin na sa UAE. So, talagang perfect yung timing natin, I would say. You know, and you said something very important. You said that they go there to save up money, yeah. right? And to help their families exactly. at home, right? But, Iba, it's, it's, a, it's a known fact that many of these OFWs, they go over there because really the two reasons they want to help their families at home. Number two, they want to save up money to come back to the Philippines and maybe open up a business so they don't ever have to go back. Exactly. But isn't it that the fact is that 97% of them that come back here exactly. after working five, seven, ten yes. years, and if they're smart enough, they saved up maybe 500 million, mm. maybe even more, 
in pesos, and they come home, and then within six months to a year, they're bankrupt. Exactly. Right? And Uno Premier is, is completely changing the whole game. Alam mo, may na-meet nga ako doon eh, uh, nasa UAE na siya for like 35 years at hindi pa rin makauwi. So yun nga, yung ginagawa ni Uno Premier ngayon is uh, really the perfect business for them because in a short span of time, makuha nila yung ipo na gusto nila para yes. makabalik na sa mga mahal na sa buhay nila at uh, mayakap na yung pamilya nila. Jeez, man, that, that's just so amazing. You know what, Butch, if there's a message that you would like to impart to our audience, what would that be? Can you please kindly give a message to our audience here? Um... On the premiere, uh, nasa pioneering stage. You know, it, this is not a test of your uh, skills. It's a, it's a test of your will. So, hindi po ito pagalingan. Uh, kahit sino from all walks of life, kaya-kaya po itong negosyo na to. Ako mismo po, galing sa wala, uh, nagbago yung buhay dito sa Uno Premier. So, mga kaibigan, um, tawagan nyo lang yung mga telephone numbers na nasa screen niyo. Get in touch with us and be part of Uno Premier. Be privileged. Thank you very much, Butch, for sharing this inspiring adventure to the United Arab Emirates. Sa mga televiewers natin, huwag na kayong mga atubili pa. Nakita niyo naman how exciting ang business opportunity dito sa Uno Premier. Join na kayo sa Uno Premier, but in the meantime, huwag kayo alis at the top. We'll be back. Well, at the beginning of the show, we promised to give some of our lucky viewers special gifts. So if you tuned in and listened, get ready to answer our question. Here it is. What is the name of one of the key ingredients found in Uno Premier's product, ProCardio? Is it number one, natokinase extract? Number two, mayonnaise extract? Number three, bolognese extract? We will pick one winner from the first 30 people to give us the correct answer through text. Give your name and contact number. We will also announce the winner in our upcoming episodes. You can text us through the numbers below. Well, mga televiewers, it's time to end the show. We hope that you have learned a lot from this episode. If you want to know more about our product, just call the numbers on our screen for more information. We would also like to invite you to listen to our business preview Libre po ito. You can come and visit us at Etsa Shang, Makati Shang, and sometimes New World Hotel Makati. And for more information, look at the numbers below on your screen and give us a call. Just remember, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. With that note, stay healthy and wealthy through UNU Premier. Take care of your heart, it's the only one you've got. Be privileged and see you next week at the top.